What is going on, guys? Today we are looking at Lewis Miller, the new league player for obviously Granada. And honestly, what a grind this one was. I, honestly, I just don't understand why they do the outside of the box. It was tough, very, very tough. And obviously, if you have participated in managerial masterpiece in the past, what? 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you'd know, or at least since six, actually, you would know that playing a Bundesliga squad is unreal. I genuinely don't know why we have two. We need two different ones because the La Liga small team or, or um, lower rated team compared to the Bundesliga is an absolute cheat code. Going from Malin and Babu, uh, obviously Mbolo, uh, St. Justice, you've got a lot of very top tier 75 to 79 rated cards. And to be honest, La Liga does come in with a few of the decent ones themselves. Vinicius is there, Rodrigo. You've also got, um, I think, a centre back, but I kind of remember which one but you haven't got the the whole team that are relatively decent so it was a grind but if we look at lewis miller i have to do every sp uh, spc and objective as much as possible especially the objectives um just because i feel like we're going to be missing out of not so i wanted to do him get him done quickly and obviously get the review out for yourselves to know if he is worth the grind or could you miss him if obviously you're not necessarily collecting players obviously the chem star we will be going for is got to be that shadow does increase that pace quite nicely from 78 to 88, which is always fantastic with 92 acceleration. Obviously gives him 93 defending as well. He's already got some physical, 81 and 80 on the strength and aggression, which isn't terrible for an 84. He then has fantastic stamina, great composure, agility and balance looking relatively okay, and a decent amount of passing, to be honest, to him. I'd say definitely in terms of CDMs, he's not a terrible one and probably in terms of Spanish obviously you do have the likes of Parejo's SBC card you have Lorente but for a free card I think you can't argue with him so without further ado let's have a look and see if Lewis Miller is worth the grind Miller with the ball first touch let's keep it going can we get a little pass over the top there it's a solid ball can we get the header fortunately not to the position we wanted but again not terrible to start with. Good start with him. Into him again. Straight down the center to see what we can do with him. Get him on a little bit of a run. Little one-two. Again, a little bit of a foul there. I can't believe that I didn't even get that. He's going to pass it back into Miller. Going to go into Dembele. No, he's going to block by three players trying to keep the ball. He seems like he's holding himself, to be honest. Really uh, nice positioning. Obviously, chilling himself in that DM role. That is a fantastic pass. But he is offside. But again, not a bad player. I think uh, he's a little bit better than Oxford in terms of what we're grinding towards. Yes, obviously, straight away, there is way better players that you can go for. Obviously, if you had a little bit of coins, you can go get Lorente. You can go get De Jong if you're looking just La Liga. But I think in terms of a free card, I think for the first one, I think they definitely could have gave worse, to be fair to him. Miller holding the DM role. Got Isaac. He's going to just take it away from him. Very, very nice. Keeps the little ball roll and gets the pass away. Solid defending. Miller with the ball through. Solid pass, but again, maybe not necessarily the right ball that I'm going to be trying to try and land it in front of two free defenders. Miller with the block. Doesn't manage to get the second. The only thing I think with uh, the objective for Miller is just that outside of the box. Everything else is absolutely fine. Through balls are absolutely fine. 30 goals, obviously very similar to what we've already had. How has he managed to get through that? That is poor keeping right there. But in terms of every other sort of objective for him, he really isn't necessarily that bad. It is a shame that they kind of go with the exact same objectives every single time. It would be nice to just have something, a little bit of a change, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon with the league of players. They probably will do the same for now until the end of, obviously, FIFA 22 with, obviously, league players. So it is a shame, and hopefully next year they do kind of upgrade them. If they don't upgrade them for the second time around, because obviously I think we ended up with about three rounds of league players in the end. I think finishing with, like, some 90s, I want to say. So hopefully we do get some different objectives something that we can grind that's just a little bit less tedious obviously the 30 goals good interception from him the 30 goals isn't that difficult good again lovely defending showcasing um but the 30 goals assists are absolutely easy outside of the box not the greatest seen as though you are using almost 75 rated players um 
and that for me is just the biggest one. Um, I just think it's just a bit ludicrous that they want you to do it with players that physically haven't necessarily got the stats for it, really. Good interception. Interceptions are definitely his biggest thing in this card. Very, very nice indeed. Does feel a little bit clunky though. Every now and then you just kind of get that that turn from someone like a Vinicius, like a Dembele, and you're like, mm, he does get beat a little bit down uh, down the dribbling side of stuff. But I think if you're very smart with him, you don't necessarily push him too hard to, to kind of press. I feel like he actually is quite a nice card to use there. Wanted to go for the, f the complete through ball there, but unfortunately was blocked by one of the midfielders. Going to find him in the middle again. The one thing that I'm interested to see who they kind of pick for the Prem as well, even though they're necessarily probably not going to be really too heavily in most people's Prem's team, it's still going to be nice to see them upgrade a card. Obviously, with these cards, I think they definitely had a little bit better of a kind of impact last year. Mallet being the first one for Ligue 1 was absolutely cracked, but unfortunately, we, we will have to kind of wait for the next set to really see a good batch, and hopefully they just upgrade the ratings by quite some uh, just quite a lot basically because oh damn how on earth did he manage to do that oh that was a little bit of a cheeky pass but i think if they've got 84 now i think by the time they release the next set because i can imagine we are only going to get the five so obviously we've got three more left after this and it seems like they are kind of releasing them relatively quickly i would probably imagine that we're going to uh get the the, the kind of the new set as probably 88s or something going to go for that chip i don't know why i did a chip for the keeper probably would have came out but imagine 88s would be actually quite nice for the next set and maybe then go to to 91s i think it doesn't really matter heavily what they actually give us because by the time they're out they're, they're going to be teams that are just incredible anyway so i don't see the, the the problem going for an 88 instead when really we've already got teams at that sort of caliber already so going into Lewis Miller's overall, so if we just have a quick recap of obviously what the objective entails. So if we do go to Milestone, it did take me a second to find it before as well. Um, obviously we have Oxford already there as well. Um, they don't run out, I believe, ever. I want to say they are a forever thing. I don't think it's um, like season based because Oxford obviously was prior to this season. Basically, you've got to win 10 matches with a full La Liga team. You've got to score 30 goals, 20 assists, five separate matches with an assist from a through ball, and also score a goal from outside of the box in eight separate. So obviously, it takes 10 matches at a minimum, and then obviously in them 10 matches, eight, you do need to score one from outside of the box each game, and then obviously five need to have through balls. Obviously, these four were pretty easy. Like, they're a standard. Sometimes you've got to play a couple of hard matches maybe you just want to leave and get it done a bit easy but then you've got this one this one is awful like genuinely get rid of it i wouldn't even care if you literally just got rid of any outside of the box unless it's outside of the box with messi or ronaldo or eusebio but when i'm trying to do it with vinicius jr 80 and sufati 81 or dembele 83 and then the opponent knows that that's what i'm doing yeah it's so difficult but it's all done now it took a to be fair, took, didn't take long, long, but I felt like it could have been done a hell of a lot quicker. Oxford was literally an hour or so just because you've got people leaving. And obviously the Bundesliga side is absolutely cracked on the lower market. In terms of uh, Lewis Miller then, so if you look at the shadow on him, a pretty fantastic card, to be honest. 90 rated on the CDM with the shadow. You get a very good pace increase. Defending looks absolutely solid. Even the uh, physicality, to be honest, for an 84 rated card, I think he's just a well-balanced card. Yes, animation-wise, a little bit sketchy. Up and down, kind of a bit stiff when he's moving. But I think for a free card... In the kind of CDM role as well, I think if you're looking at kind of Lorente more than anything, I think, yes, De Jong and Lorente are the two that you'd probably have in that midfield more than anybody. Obviously, Fakir as a cam is, is still pretty cracked, but if I'm looking at more kind of midfielders to defensive mids, I think it's got to be De Jong and Lorente, and then maybe Parejo if you've done the SBC. But for a free card, he sits in quite nicely. Decent pace, good defending, physicality not necessarily terrible. Obviously, in terms of dribbling, He's not awful. He's got great composure on him. Good reactions. Balance isn't that bad. So for me, I think it is a bit of a dub for this card. Yes, again, he's not going to change people's main teams, which I don't think by the looks of it, any league player will do at this rate. But 
as another player to go into the club, I think our job is hit. Our job here is well done, really. So hopefully you did enjoy the video. I'm going to give Lewis Miller a 7 out of 10. Let me know if you're going to grind this objective. If you do need any help, go and check the link down below or at the end screen in a second for how to complete this guy fast. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.